it's that time of the year, it's time to look at other people's top 10s or top 20s of 2023 in the year of metal. So, we've done our own on the list. You know, we've got a couple of videos about the best albums of 2023. You can go check them out yourself to see my shitty ass taste. And scream at me for having In Flames as number two. <laughs> so, I like that album a lot. Put the pitchforks down. Put the pitchforks down. But, you know, my tastes are out there. And so are these other big metal magazines. Rolling Stones. Metal Hammer. A louder Sound. And Rate Your Music. We're going to dive through each one of them. See how shit their lists are. And react to them accordingly. And I want you guys down along in the comments below to tell me what you think of each list. And if they're terrible. Or if they're pretty good. So we're starting off with Rolling Stone, which don't have a good reputation for uh, this here <laughs> metal list, but we may, we'll give them a bit of benefit of the doubt. They might be good and surprise us. Let's find out. So straight away, they have top 11, which is just annoying. Why is it top 11? It should be top 10. But anyway, either do 20 or 10. Uh, triggered already. Uh, number 11 is Kante, ca Kanate to be cruel. I've not actually heard this album. I don't know what this is. I think it's just some, something about Cheech and Chong. So I'm guessing it's Doom. And I love Doom, so I'm surprised I haven't actually heard this. Avant-Garde Downers Metal Group. Okay. I can't actually comment on that. It could be a fantastic album. So, no, yeah, yeah, I can't say anything. Number 10 I have heard. Death Clock's Death Album 4. Top 10 of the year, though. It was a fun album. I like that it's here. Um, I do like that it's here because I love Deathlock. I do like this album, but it's not the best album. Uh, it's definitely not the best. I think the first one, the second one's actually fantastic. The second one's my favourite. <clears throat> but it was a good album, you know? I, I, I don't mind that it's here. I'm surprised that it's here. So far, you know, it's not bad. Until number nine, Code Orange the Above. This one is just not good. This is a not good album. Uh, the last couple of Code Orange albums have been pretty fantastic, but this one just kind of goes too mellow, too poppy. Um, I don't know. I'm not, I don't like this album. It's one of the worst of the year, in my opinion, so highly disagree with that shit. Number eight, Wayfarer, American Gothic. I like this pick. The Rolling Stones not doing too bad. Wayfarer is fantastical black metal mixing in with a kind of cowboy. Pew, 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 while they carry your shit. I don't like it as much as most other people, so it wasn't on my top 10 black metal albums of the year, but I respect them, and I love that it's here. You know, I, I do like that it's here. Um, yeah, yeah, very good. And then we get another shit one. It's like, good, then shit, then good, then shit. Event Sevenfold, Life is But a Dream. One of my least favourite albums of the whole year. It's weird for the sake of being weird. Uh, loads of people liked it, so I can see it would be here. Uh, but for me, it just didn't do anything. Like, the stage was just miles better. Um, yeah. I, I hate that album, and top ten of the year just confuses me. Number six is Agriculture. Um, I, pff, another one I don't have a fucking clue. Um, ecstatic Black Metal. What does that mean? Experimental, of course. It can never just be, you know, traditional black metal. <clears throat> but number five is Cannibal Corpse with Chaos Horrific. Now that's traditional death metal. Love that album. It was in my top ten. Uh, I think it's just a fun Cannibal album. Great guitar by Eric Rutan. And yeah, it deserves to be high on a list. I'm guessing they don't have any other, you know, like Suffocation, Cryptopsy, Dying Fetus. If they do, I'll be pleasantly surprised. But let's find out. Jesus Peace. So unknown. I've heard a lot of people say this is really good. A lot of people who like the kind of metalcore or new metal kind of stuff are saying this album's really good, so that's uh, not my forte, but it's cool that it's here because a lot of people are praising it. It wouldn't be my list, but yeah, it's not bad. Number three is Ragana, Desolation's Flower. I don't, I don't, fucking, I don't know what the fuck that is. This looks like some hipster bullshit. This looks like... um. Like Mirka or something like that? Is it? Is it like that? It says, powerfully fragile. Um, tapestry, black metal, doom, shoegaze, and crust punk. That's weird. Shoegaze and crust punk. Two opposing fucking sides. I don't... I don't I'll check it out, because I do like Alcest and uh, Lantlos. <coughs> Death Heaven's okay. But yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. 
Look. Mm. Oh my god. I just saw number one. What is going on? Anyway, number two is God Flesh with Purge. Not bad. But the best industrial album of the year. I think God Flesh is fantastic. Saw them live this year as well, and they killed it. Yeah, I like it. I like that God Flesh is here. And then number one, it's shit and. It, 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 Metallica's 72 Seasons. I gave it a good review. I think it's a pretty good album, but best of the year, fucking number one, best album of the year, Metallica. No, it isn't. It's a good Metallica album f- compared to the last fucking five they did, but the best of the year, no. No. Return to form, yes. Best of the year, fucking no. Absolutely not. This is terrible. This just completely invalidates the list. Until then, it was okay, you know? Some good albums like God Flesh, Cannibal Corpse, Jesus Peace people loved. Um, it even had um, Wayfarer on, so overall, out of the ten, eight, five out of the ten, pretty good. So that's actually surprising. I'm actually surprised. But the number one pick, you just shit the bed. At least put it as number 11. <laughs> number one, Put it as number 72. Perfect. Well, that's Rolling Stones. What did you think about that? I thought it was... Pretty average. Good and bad. Next up, we're going to go with Metal Hammers. And this is by the readers of Metal Hammer. So this is you guys. This isn't the actual Metal Hammer themselves. This is what people voted in this top 50. So let's skim through. Um, number 50, Svalbard. Eh, it's pretty good. Um, kind of in the hipstery zone again, but it's fine. Number 49, Enslaved. Enslaves Heimdall is bloody amazing. I like that it's here, but Immortal higher than it? Fuck no. That Immortal album was the worst Immortal album they've done. Really generic. <clears throat> yeah, really generic. Whereas Enslaves Heimdall was fucking fantastic. Cavellatex Endling. It was pretty good. Um, it was a good Cavellatex album. And not as good as the debut, that thing. Fucking smokes everything. Two Moles, The Enduring Spirit. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I like Two Mold. I like the, oh, the whole fucking band controversy with the shirts and stuff. Everyone went fucking mad. Everyone who made a video like, oh, I hate them. They should look metal. The 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 fucking so far up their own ass. They can <laughs> they can practically smell their own fucking mucus. That's how far up their ass they are. Um, you, you know, Tomb Mold is a video game item from Bloodborne. Um, they have songs like Abyss Walker, which I've actually got a picture of. Artorius up there, and I think Artorius is on the shelf. Yeah, I got Artorius over there. Um, Artorius the Abyss Walker, which is from Dark Souls, very Dark Souls and Bloodborne related in the early days. Uh, and then people are like, "Oh my God, the nerds! They dressed like nerds. Of course they fucking are, because they're named after a fucking video game item. So it, it's like the the seeds were already there, and if they actually watched the video on them talking and watched the video on the band themselves." They'd know it instantly, because they're always wearing like Resident Evil shirt, and there's nothing wrong with video games, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd, so anyone who hates that can literally fucking die. Yeah, that's you, Music of Destruction, you little shit. Twin Temple is next. Um, no. King Gizzard and the Gizzard Wizard. <laughs> Petro, Dragonic Apocalypse. Loads of people are loving this. Um, I think it's good, I don't think it's one of the best of the year, but I think it's, it's good. I prefer Infest the Rat's Nest. But even that wouldn't make my top 50 of the year, but it's fine. Raven Age is okay, but higher than Enslaved. Fuck off. Mental Cruelty. Deathcore, probably one of the best Deathcore albums of the... <coughs> Whoa, I came out of Of the year, but yeah. Suffocation, yeah, very good. Dying Wish. Uh, never heard of it, it's Metalcore, so that makes sense. Beartooth. Um, fine, but higher than Enslaved. Fuck off. Zenith Passage, <laughs> I haven't heard it, sorry. Nebula Viscaris was good, but I don't think it's as good as the last couple. I think Urn is way better. I think Portal of Eye is a masterpiece and smokes this. Therapy, eh. KK's Priest, no, that one's kind of shit. Green Lung, fun stonery, fun stonery sludgy metal. I like it. Crypta, those people are liking that. Um, I think it's a good album. No, I like Crypta. I thought that was a fantastic album. Hannah B. Reborn. Superstar. <laughs> I've heard this album. I actually have heard it. Uh, I listened to it, like, uh, last week, actually. It's cool. 
is a mix of metalcore and J rock. Oh, people are gonna fucking go crazy. Uh, with like video game samples and electronic shit. It's cool, but top 50 of the year? You were having a fucking laugh, mate. Having a laugh. Mayuka? Oh, God. <laughs> I don't mind the folky stuff, but it's not top 50 of the year. Come on. Barry Tomorrow? <laughs> Hell Ripper? Hell Ripper fucking slaps. 29, though? <laughs> it should be higher. Periphery? Is good, but I don't think it's. Even close to Hailstan. Not even close. Obituary's Dying of Everything was good, again, but with kind of mediocre compared to, like, Dying, Dying Feet is going to be fucking higher. Dying Feet is... And Suffocation and shit. And, like, they, they, they were just better. Keisha Strain. I don't mind that. That's not bad. Baroness's album is just like all the others. I'm not big into Baroness. I enjoy them, but I think Mastodon does the slid stuff better. Sorry, and Kvelitech does it better, so Kvelitech should be higher. Silosis In the top 30? No. Overkill, Scorched, very good album. Yeah, should be here. Um, Acacia okay, Strain, again. Was it a double album? It was, what? I'm confused. Don't know. Tesseract, War of Being. Tesseract! Um... Tessa, my nose is running because I just had a vindaloo. So if any like brown stains around here, I've not been eating ass, okay? I wish I had, but it's actually vindaloo. But yeah, Tesseract War of Being was a good album. Um, I saw them last year, headline, and it was fucking sick. The light show. Yeah, it was a good album. Blackbriar. I uh, didn't hear that. Chaos Horrific. Kind of a corp was very good. Delane Dark Waters with the new Delane singer. Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. Billy Velo, Neon Noir. Did they just put that here because it's a new Billy Velo? I feel like that's the only reason they did that. Beyond the Black? Oh, I don't care. Love Bites, Judgment Day. Loads of people love Love Bites. And <laughs> I love Love Bites. I have seen them live, but I've never listened to the album, sorry. Silent Planet, Super Bloom. Uh, don't know that either. Catatonia, Sky Audio Stars, Bloody Banger. Love it, one of the best progressive doom metal albums. Dying Fetus, there we go, number 12. Banger of an album. Orbit Culture, Descent. Pretty good. Pretty good, uh, Mellow Death. Yeah, no, I like that. Number 10, In Flames for Gone. <laughs> That's my album. I love it. Voice of Bassarept. What the fuck is that? Says it sounds like funky Rage Against the Machine. I'd hate it. Black Braid 2, I feel like that's only here because it's like Native American. But that's the only reason. Because it was okay. There's millions of better black metal albums. Life is but a dream. Everyone with these Ven Samfold picks. I fucking hate it. Cattle Decapitation. Oh, I forgot about them. Yeah, that's sick. That's a great pick. Number 5 is Avatar. That was a shit album. Wasn't one of the best. Number 4 is Metallica. Just because. Just got to throw Metallica in there. Fucking shit. Freeze Within Temptation. I like Within Temptation, um, but oh my god, this top five is fucking horrendous. I could just cut all the bits out. This top five is actually terrible. Within Temptation, Bleed Out, yeah. Uh, fine. Babe Metal, the other one. Okay. O okay, it's, oh, it's good. It's good, but it's not like best of the year. I feel like the Habani Reborn was more interesting than this one. Then number one is Sleep Token, Take Me Back to Eden. The album which makes me just... And it's his vocals. And I like the previous album. Um, something Should Be a Tomb or whatever the fuck it's called. With the, the, him falling into the water on the album cover. That was a fine album. Like a six out of ten. This one's like a five out of ten. I enjoy what they're trying to do. I just don't enjoy the music itself. So pretty predictable. Fucking Baby Metal, Metallica, and Sleep Token in the top five. Bunch of shit. Next up, now, this is the juicy stuff. Top 10 best black metal albums of 2023. Oh boy. Black Braid 2, obviously. You know, you gotta put the Native American representation here. Of course. Yeah. Fine. Blue House Nor Disharmonium Nahab. Good shit. Good shit. I love this album. Um, very creepy, very eerie, very unsettling, kind of like um, Undreamable Abysses, like they mentioned. 
Yeah, very good. Dawn Raid. Dawn Raid. Yeah. Oh, I didn't like that album that much. No. No. Not, not very good. Not very good. Oh, Questies is a fascist. Um. Oh, shit. I'm wearing a Ukrainian fucking <laughs> potential NSPM shirt. Sure. Nah, they're good. Go, viva la Ukraine. Dudheim is God. Black Medium Corinne. Fantastic album. Really interesting and um, engaging album and very unique. Good stuff. Immortal. And then they fucking fuck it up with Immortal. I like Immortal a lot. But this album's not good. Like, it's not good. It's like the most boring meat and potatoes black metal I've ever heard. Lang Riolo. That? I've never heard of that. And I'm the black metal guy. I've never heard of that. That looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, over nine octane folk and mellow death tinge songs. Well, it doesn't sound like black metal, but okay. Mental Cruelty Zwilikt. You, this is deathcore. Why is mental cruelty here? They have blackened edges to them. It's kind of like Lorna Shore. But you wouldn't put Lorna Shore on this fucking list. So why is mental cruelty? Because they're not black metal. So that one can fuck off in the bin. The Sun's Journey Through the Night. Fantastic stuff, actually. I might be seeing them next year. Yeah, very good. Underdark. Manage Decline. What the fuck is this? Post rock? What 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 is going on? Look at him. No, no, I don't like it. Just but the no, fuck. Don't don't no, fuck that. And then Wayfair, obviously, with the um American style gothic Look have you seen how shit this list is? This list is actually terrible. There's no enslaved, which is ridiculous. There's no Marduk. There's no Tudor. I think I've said that right this time. Um, there's no Valdrin. There's no Sulphur Aeon. Like, all these albums. Moonlight Sorcery? What the fuck is that? Oh, yeah, terrible list. Go fuck yourselves. Now on to rate your music. And I see the top is Panopticon. Black Metal is the very top. Good shit. Good shit. I actually really like this album now. It's growing and growing on me. If I skip the first song... I fucking loved the album. Like, that first song was so hard to get into because the long-ass intro, like, real fucking long-ass intro. And then it blasts off, and I love it. So, you know what? I like that that's number one. It's been a long time me getting into Panopticon, but now it makes sense. Next up is King Gizzard and the Gizzard Wizard. Yeah, I, it's, it's good. It's a good album. Um, Next one, don't know. Number four is Liturgy. 93696, six. never enjoyed Liturgy, it's in that weird, um, I'm too smart for you zone, which I'm not a big fan of, but number 5 is Moonlight Sorcery, Horned Lord of the Fawn Castle, bang, just mentioned them, and here it is, fuck yes, great stuff, glad it's here, in the top 5, all metal as well, <sighs> yes, radio music, you, you, you're the best one so far, aside from Liturgy, you're the best, <laughs> next up, Great Falls, not big into sludge or noise rock, so eh, Tree Hat is next, which... Okay, I should know, but I don't. People in the Discord have asked me to listen to Tree Hat, and I've been like, okay. Uh, <laughs> but I will. I listen to that album because it's atmospheric black, and that's my, my favourite genre, but I'm busy, so I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Um, Screamo and Post Metal. Never heard of that. Never heard of the. Never heard of a lot of these. Fucking hell. Uh, Dying Fetus, I know. It's great stuff is number 11. And Warlock. Warlock's Grim and Withered Hags by Hellripper is amazing. Wayfarer, I know. Storchgun. Fantastic shit. Nuclear Power Trio. No thanks. Clandestine Blaze in the top fucking 20. <laughs> yes. Um, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, Clandestine Blaze is a banger. And the album's great. So, so far, yeah. There's a lot of albums I need to get into because... I don't know half of these. I know Malacarpatan, that's great, and Horrendous' album fucking slaps. Um, Morbid Visions, I like the older one better, but it's still good. Neobliviscaris was fine. Um, Baycor Quillish is always good. That Cthulhu esque shit. Tomb Mold. Um, yeah, no, so far so good. I mean, I think Rate Your Music 
was not bad this year. And look at me. Oh, and my face is probably hiding my face. I got my little face up there. Question about yeah hopefully you had some fun with these lists let me know down below who was the best do you agree with any of the lists are any of the number ones your number one let me know down below and we'll see you again on another quest for metal merry christmas you fuckers